Casey Bell's family farms and Tom and I are sitting in the truck waiting for uh, his friend Shannon to bring his bees. Okay, so how many hives are you waiting on? About 77 I think, uh, it should be 19 pallets. Maybe two less than that, maybe 75. Because we owe two to another beekeeper for a pig that we got about a month ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and I've got this set on night camera because it is getting to be nighttime here, so I'm hoping to catch better footage with it with that set on night vision. Well, the truck has arrived with Tom's bees, so you know he's excited. He's over there talking to him now to find out where how they're going to do this and get it set up. But, yep, his bees are finally home. They've been away. They should have been here over a month ago, probably, but they've run into just problems. In fact, uh, some of the other beekeepers, uh, the, a lot of their beehives were in a wreck just the other day. And out of over, I think they said 700 or something hives, or 800 hives, only 70 of them lived. And thank goodness Tom did, was, it wasn't Tom, it was one of them that was had all those hives. So, yeah, even though these hives are late in here, he's glad they weren't a couple of days earlier. had to retreat to the pickup because I got stung by a bee. I'm out here with no um, gear on but I didn't think too much about it because they're all still in hives and everybody's locked up and stuff but apparently they were out visiting and and I thought it was just a bug so I kind of swiped at it and it stung me in the neck so I thought yep I'm done I'm in the camper I mean I'm, I'm in the truck wish I could see Tom better out there you can see him a little bit I like the modification that he has on top of that. It's got four things that come down and actually clamp down on the top of the hives that hold the, the lids in place. So because you know how it is when you do a forklift, some things get tilted a little bit, but with those four clamps coming down and uh, securing the lids, it actually secures the whole stack of hives. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't, I don't know who came up with that modification, but it was a good idea. So it appears that he's done loading them up in the yard and now he's loading the back of the trailer here. And I'm filming this from inside the pickup as I was talking about earlier, but he's now he's loading the rest of these onto the onto the trailer so that because we're going we have other places that we want to take these hives. So that's gonna be pretty cool. This looks like the last stack coming off of Shannon's truck. Oh, I guess he's going back over here with it. So you can see a little bit. See the top things on the top there. That's what he, when he was when the brought the whole stack over, it clamped down on top of those beehives. He's not using it now because he's unstacking them. That sure was a cool thing. I liked it. I guess he's gonna put this last pallet that has four on it on the back of the truck. Best I can tell. Or if he's gonna unstack those other four. We'll find out. Well, it looks like he's kept these stacked, but he shoved them forward to make room for two more pallets behind it. That's what it looks like he's doing. Now he's loading his forklift back onto the trailer, and he's got an awesome setup for that. So, yep, he's definitely set to keep bees.
and you can tell he enjoys it.